Hi, today we're going to see how to create this composite in GIMP. So I'm going to delete this one here, this image. And now I'm going to use this image. And now I'm going to bring a second image. So here's the second image. I will put the link of these images in the description box. So I'm going to reduce the opacity here, of this layer here. So I'm going to drop it here, select the move tool. I'm just going to move it here. I want to make the C here cover all the road here till here, around here, and then cover it down here. So I'm going to select the scale tool. Left click on the layer here would be women. Keep the control key down here. So as you can see, the chain icon here is linked. So keep the control key down here and then just drag here to increase it proportionally like this. So I'm going to move it. So here, not. So now just increase it a little bit again. So here, make sure here it's covering all the road. So I'm going to place it here like this, and upper center. And now I'm going to increase the opacity here back to 100. So like this, and then right click here, layer to image size. And now I'm going to make selection of the women here. So press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in here to be more precise. You can either use free select tool or the path. I'm going to use the paths tool here. So now that I'm almost done, I just need to link the end path here with the first one here. So keep the control key down here and then click on the first one here. So here it is and I'll press enter. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. So here's our selection here. So I'm just going to add layer mask to it. So right click here on the women layer here, add layer mask, and then make sure to check the selection layer mask and then add. So here it is. And now I'm going to remove the selection. So go to select none. And if you want to remove the path here, just select another tool. So here it is. And now I'm going to duplicate this layer here with the layer mask. So select the layer here. So as you can see, here's the layer mask. There's the white outline around it. So I'll select the layer and then duplicate it. And now I'm going to reveal the water around the women here on the second layer here, the layer under here, this one here, layer mask. So select the brush tool. Make sure the foreground color is white. Since in the layer mask, the white represents opacity and the black transparency. So with white, I'm going to increase the hardness to 70 and force to 70. Now I'm going to increase a little bit size here, then just paint on the layer mask, this one here, not this one, this one. So here, to reveal the water here, the sea. So here I'm going to paint just like this. And now once you get to the edges here, make sure to reduce the hardness here. I'm going to reduce it to 30, around 30 here, it's 29 in order to make the water and the ground here, the road here blend much better. So like this, you can still decrease the size here. I'm going to decrease a little bit of size. So here like this. So I'm going to increase it here. Or here like this. And now if you make a mistake here, control Z to undo your action. So here I'm going to reduce it again. So reduce the hardness too. Make sure not to go over the road here on the grass. And now I'm going just to trace here, line here, just to add 
some of the C here like this so here you can still erase some here just select another tool select another color here make sure the background is black here and then here just and now I'm going to leave it like this and now I'm going to apply the layer mask here on the this layer and this layer here so right click and then apply layer mask and then go to the top one select the top one right click apply layer mask so here as you can see the layer on top here has only the women here and now here the layer under it here has the C with the women here so I'm going to change the color of the C here so select the layer with the women here this one here and now I'm going to reduce the saturation here of the layer here so go to colors U and saturation and then just decrease the saturation here so the water here blends with the road here so I think I'm going to leave it so as you can see it's still blue here so I'm going to leave it all the way down here and then press OK and now here as you can see the water here blends well with the ground here so if you have for example darker road just select just go to colors on the layer with the water here and then just select the curves tool and here you will be able to darken the road or lighten it to blend it with the environment with the road here to so here to blend the water with the road as you can see here it blends well here so if i check the preview see the before and the after so here it is so here i think i'm going to leave it like this and now press ok so now here's the the top one here has only the women that's why the saturation is not affecting the layer here so now what i'm going to do right click select the top one right click new from visible so we have a new layer here with all layers here and now if i press the plus key to zoom in as you can see the women here has some sunlight here on her right here so i'm going to press the minus key here so i need to add an orange tone here to the layer here to the image so go to colors color temperature and then here i'm just going to decrease original temperature so like this so as you can see here it gives it an orange tone it adds to the blending here of the of the image here so let's check the preview here's the before and here's the after here so like this so i think i'm going to leave it like this and now press ok so i think that's it thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time